हे गायज दिस इज डॉक्टर सार्थक रणजीत घाडगे अ डेंटल इंटर्न फ्रॉम धुले महाराष्ट्र सो टुडे विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट समथिंग रिअली क्लोज टू मी दॅट इज वाय डिड आय चूज बी डी एस ऑनेस्टली स्पीकिंग BDS wasn't my first option. It was MBBS. MBBS was the dream, the goal. And uh, when it didn't happen, I was really disappointed. I felt like I have been settling for something less. But somewhere along this journey, the mindset completely changed. The more I studied, the more I saw patients, the more I interacted with patients, the more i realized the kind of impact a dentist can have i saw people walking in with pain embarrassment and low confidence and leaving out smiling and that that feeling is something else when i dealt with patients in my third year final year and my internship it gave me a sense of satisfaction that i felt like it's not just about healing something or healing someone but it's about improving someone's lifestyle it it really feels good when the patients or the people they smile without hesitation they speak with confidence and they eat without pain and i think that what matters that i i am able to give back to the community through this field and in this video i'll be sharing my point of view towards my field and uh, i hope this will help you in choosing a right path after neat so let's see how this goes so why didn't i take a gap year to answer this is actually we all know that after 11th and 12th after your 12th standard you give your neat exam that is neat ug and uh, once you clear it you get an admission in any uh, MBBS or a dental or a BMS or BHMS college, and uh, the process is actually lengthy. Means you in your UG life, that is in dentistry or in MBBS, you have to do four years complete study plus one years of internship. It gets to five years, and then again you need to give a neat exam that is for masters if you want to do masters, and uh, plus three years of masters. So total you. spend around 8 years of your life and uh, while giving my neat exam i was actually i was about 18 or 20 years old i was 18 years old and uh, from there if you see 8 years of my life that is i would be around 26 27 or maybe 28 while i do my masters or while i end my masters so i wanted to do things early in my life and so that's the reason i didn't take a gap i could have gone for uh, a gap year and improve my score and get into a medical or a mbbs college but i didn't do so because there are a lot of works of dentistry which i realized it later and that time i even i didn't know about this it just happened so dentistry as an earning point of view i would say is uh, definitely a good option because i have seen many mbbs or md md doctors to not earning that much as much as a dentist earns this is i am talking about india and uh, but there is certain things that you need to be sure if you are into dentistry that you need to be confident you need to be good in your communication you should have a good communication skill to establish yourself in this field you should have a good clinical hand that you need that you have learned from first year till the internship so you need to have good skills so skill set is what matters in dentistry it what ma- it is what matters as an earning point of view so priority wise the top two top two skills i would rate to be a good dentist or to earn a good income 
in this field of dentistry there are two top most skills that you need that is a good clinical hand and the second one is good communication skill if you master these two then i think that there is no one stopping you there is definitely a saturation in this field but which field doesn't have saturation right now you do it you go for engineering you go for anything there is saturation there is recession so there is definitely a com- competition there are many dentists passing out every year there are many mbbs doctors passing out every year but you need to stand unique among them so you have to come up with a great idea that how you would stand out and uh, that that is what matters from earning point of view and i am definitely sure that if you master these skills and if you master everything if you do everything with dedication then there is no one stopping you from from earning you more than what the mbbs doctors earn right now in india yes even i haven't accomplished anything right now means i am also learning i am also developing my skills even i am i have not done anything unique or anything special in this field or i am not earning anything right now not even in my internship but what i have heard what i have learned what i have become in this years is just impeccable it's like it's like i have transformed myself when i was when i came in first year i was not shy actually i wasn't shy from the beginning but from first year to now that is in my internship i have developed immense that i have the way i look towards the patients the way i look towards the society has changed tremendously although and what i would say is that i think this field has awakened something in me towards the society yes of course definitely i want to give it back to the society i want to serve the humanity but at the same time my goal is to earn like crazy like means i also want everything at my fingertips i do still want to do everything i want to live a luxurious life i want to give my friends my family everything they want but at the same time i want to stay grounded and uh, as i said i have not done anything special but i am aiming that within few years i'll be doing something great and uh, you too can do something if you are aiming that way and uh, i from from my personal experience from my personal point of view i want to explore things that is related to medical medicine dentistry and the things around this field so i'll be doing something great hopefully in this few years and uh, i'll be sharing my insights and so let's see how this happens and if you are confused what to choose so give i think you should give yourself time you should think and bts or dentistry is not a not a poor option or not i would say not an option b once you come in this field you will realize that why it's an option a so everyone in everyone thinks like if not mbbs then bds but bds has the same value as mbbs you do things you actually do certain things that are greater than just healing so don't take yourself for granted or don't think that you have been settling for something less or don't think that this is something below mbbs this is as good as mbbs it just needs your dedication so hopefully all the best and good luck to every one of you out there i hope that this video will help you choose your career path and uh, will definitely make you fall in love with dentistry and uh, for me it's not an plan b it's a blessing for me so good luck thank you for watching